The St. Lucia Football Association committed in its strategic plan to transform women's football to make the game accessible to anyone who wants to play. The focus now is to create a new image, a new campaign to attract more individuals. We have encouraged clubs to develop festivals as for players who are under 10 and so on to get the girls involved as early as possible. And SLFA assists the clubs and the various football leagues with resources to facilitate these programs and these activities. This is in keeping with the global mandate from FIFA to provide support, encouragement, motivation and inspiration to young girls all over St. Lucia. Even during the COVID period, SLP made a contribution to most of the players in terms of laptops and they also received bursaries, $500 bursaries. This was given to, to the players as well. So the parents benefited from that assistance. It made it possible for the children to facilitate and accom be accommodated on the online instruction. That was the mode of learning blended approach. But we also want to reassure our commitment to the development of, of female football and the same opportunities that may have existed for many last. Ten years are still in existence for the female. Many heeded the call, consequently taking women's football to another level. My name is Kusan St. Louis and I am 17 years old. My name is Cassandra Shepard. I'm from the community of Penrose. My name is Ilana Lashley. I'm from Newport. And these young ladies and many more like them need the opportunity to express themselves, to live a healthy lifestyle, to build self-esteem and to shine locally, regionally and internationally. I just currently graduated from Newport Comprehensive School and I'm now going um, on to university. Christian is, is one of those persons who have got, gotten a scholarship. What she would be doing is be joining about 14 or 15 other girls that we have out of state who are presently on scholarship. So that, that, main, that main advantage is one that we need the girls to capitalize on because what we've realized that has been happening over the past four or so years, there are greater scholarship opportunities for the girls than there are for boys. There is opportunities for females in all sports. Chantel John is a football referee and a police officer by profession. You get scholarships to go to a, a school to study. Um, you get opportunities to play professional. So I, I will encourage them to come out, um, train, train hard. So that child who is involved in football, that's one less child that is on the street, one less child that might be involved in something negative. And that child is putting her energy, where it is the boy, his energies, into productive and positive activities. Football enables you to reach higher heights. Emily Remy is a teacher by profession, has played football extensively for Marsha. Her love for football was cultured by her father and brothers. It gives you the opportunity to propel and you have both tangible benefits and of course you have the intangible which I consider more importantly so get involved. It's a stress relieving sport and I have a passion for football. I would encourage everybody to play football. It helps you keep your mind off stuff you don't want to think about. When you play football it frees your mind, it makes you relax. You're not angry, it's just relaxation. I encourage any female, any female, give it a chance. Whether or not you, you don't put on that football boots and run on the field, there is something that you can do and each one help one. The SLFA has trained a number of female coaches. So we need these persons to come to the fore to assist. There are a lot of ex-players who have the experience. Give us the support. The St. Lucia Football Association cannot do it alone. We need the support of the parents, the teachers. <laughs> The St. Lucia Football Association is making a special plea to parents and guardians, teachers and school administrators. As an association, we want to see the continued um, involvement of parents. This is a critical aspect. In, in order for any program to grow, we need the support of the parents. And the fact that we have that right now, it means that the parents have bought into our program and the support is critical to us. And 
it in, in some sense gives us that level of satisfaction. Just being there, giving them your support, being behind them, making sure that you support them. Sometimes they feel a way, you know, down and you have to pick them up and say to them, listen, let's, let's try again, let's try again. Give us a chance to showcase what we have and also help us to learn the game better. Football is for both women and men. Footballers, encourage your sisters and their friends to play the beautiful game. Teach them the tricks, pass on the skills, motivate them, make it fun. I used to play with my brother in the park and we used to play together and he encouraged me to play. When I was younger, I used to watch football with my granddad. I got into football because of my mother. She used to push me a lot. I got into football for my brothers and cousins. I, I grew up with a football background, meaning that my dad played football, Andrew J. Joseph, well, Satan Joseph. Also, I had a son, and at four years old, he told me that he wanted to be the best in St. Lucia. So then I needed to learn so that I can help him along the way. I would encourage, definitely, any parent to give their child that opportunity. Let them try it out and then be with them, you know, don't let, get, don't let them get discouraged. So we need the parents, we need the PE teachers, we need the ex-national the national players, we need the qualified coaches to come and assist. We have persons who have great leadership skills, great managerial skills, and they can assist. My name is Stephanie Ale, I'm 20 years old. I live at Canaries, St. Lucia. My name is Tanika Blossom Bonad, and I'm from Canaries. My name is Bosnia James. I play for the national under 17 team. My name is Cassandra Shepard. I'm from the community of Canaries. I play defensive midfield. My name is Tiffany Ale from Riverside Road, Canaries. Girls, there is a wide world of opportunity awaiting. No matter how tall, no matter how short you are, football is the sport to play. <laughs> young ladies um, out there, if you're thinking of getting involved in football, there's no way you could go wrong. We have encouraged clubs to develop festivals, that's for players who are under 10, and so on to get the girls involved as early as possible, and SLFA assist the clubs and the various football leagues with resources to facilitate these programs and these activities. And what we encourage the clubs to do is to start scouting around and make sure that they deal with the youngsters. We encourage parents to be part of our technical committees, part of our training sessions that we have. So one of the intentions is to build or strengthen the bridge between the schools and the clubs and by extension SLFA to, to ensure that, that we have a cadre of individuals both playing and administrating the sport of football. There are many opportunities for you to contribute to the beautiful game. You can get trained to coach and nurture young talent. The beautiful game needs female referees. There is room for you in administration or as a scout or a mentor. If you're thinking of getting involved in football, there's no way you could go wrong. It's very important that we get more young girls involved in foot football. One, for sustainability of our program. Um, two, there are lots of opportunities involving football, specifically, most importantly, college opportunities. When you go out and you're seen by a, you're scout by a coach, you, get, you may get an opportunity to attend college. And this is a very, very, very big opportunity. You could play for your school, you could play for your club, you could play for your the national team and you could travel the world. From St. Lucia we went to England and then to Russia. We, we made many stops and in Russia I met new people. I have I got I made new friends. If she wasn't playing football she wouldn't have got that opportunity. That was a big opportunity. She flew to Russia. Big experience. At the end of the day, it's you and what you want to do. It's your inspiration, it's your story to tell. If your daughter or your son loves to play football, what I would tell you, what my mother will always tell me, never let what people say get into you and just try your best. Never give up, never give up. Just keep your mind positive and think about how far you want to reach and just work on it. And you must reach there. Just keep your energy positive. Never give up, never give up. 
I'm encouraging you to just play the game of football.